Whew, October's over with. Now I can get back to checking out what's new in horror on the comic book racks. Let's get right into this week's horror poll. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Before we get started, I wanted to alert my listeners that I'll be writing and drawing a new short story in Nightmare Theater 2. I thank those of you who picked up the first collection, Nightmare Theater, and I believe there are still some copies of that one left where I did a story with superstar artist Carlos Granda. Nightmare Theater 2 is a new anthology that delves into the darkest corners of the mind and beyond. If you have some extra cash, be sure to support the Nightmare Theater 2 Kickstarter and pick yourself up a copy. Look for a link to Nightmare Theater 2's Kickstarter down below before the comments. Now on to the horror comics released this week, November 3rd, 2021, at a comic shop near you. Let's start out with an indie. Horn Island Trilogy, number one, is from Second Sight Publishing. It's by Marcus Roberts, Don Gorman, Sean Barbour, Nestor Negret, and Brian Dunphy. It looks like this one is about Mississippi zombies, but also reveals that this isn't the first time the undead has walked freely through the state. This story gets to the root of the problem by looking at some of the past zombie uprisings. I really like the rugged looking art on that cover over there. Next is Orisian, number one. It's also from Second Sight Publishing. The story is by Bradley Golden, with art by Gleedson Nibiero. A mythical demon is unearthed when an expedition is sent to the snow-capped mountains in order to find a cure for a millionaire's brain cancer. This cover is giving me some strong John Carpenter The Thing vibes, and those are good vibes to have. I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Provenance of Secrets, number one, is from Scout Comics. The story is by Kiaran Tegan, with art by my good pal Christian Dabari. Mixing noir with Lovecraft is always fun. This one delves into the Lovecraftian legend of the King in Yellow. While Cthulhu is often plumbed when it comes to Lovecraftian horror, the King in Yellow deserves some fun as well. Dabari's art is always a treat, so I'm looking forward to seeing his rendition of this classic literary monster. Chilling Adventures in Sorcery, number one, is from Archie Comics. The stories are by Elliot Rahal, Amy Chu, Evan Stanley, with art by Vincenzo Federici, Tim Kennedy, Pat Kennedy, and Derek Charm. I'm a sucker for horror anthologies in prose, film, and comics, and Archie Comics has been one of the publishers responsible for the quality horror coming back in style. I always... I'm always interested in seeing the darker side of Riverdale, and the lineup in this anthology is an impressive one. Next up is The Rush, number one. It's from Vault Comics. The story is from Simon Spurrier, and the art is by Nathan Gooden. Set during the American Gold Rush era, this tale involves miners, Native Americans, and some giant spiders. Sounds like a really fun creature feature mashup. That art by Nathan Gooden looks solid as well. After Dark. A horror anthology, number one, is from Aftershock Comics. It's got stories by Colin Bunn, Jim Starlin, Joe Pruitt, and Frank Thierry, with art by Cliff Richards, Nicole Kalenic, Zyman Kudransky, and Joe Eisma. Here's another anthology sporting a solid lineup of four tales of terror. Aftershock is a quality publisher, so I'm sure the horror they put into this anthology will be up to snuff. Can't wait. Soul Plumber number two is from DC Comics. The story is by Marcus Parks, Henry Zabrowski, and Ben Kissel, with art by John McCree. I haven't checked in with this new horror series from DC. I have the first issue, I just haven't read it yet. It's put together by a group of podcasters and deals with monstrous forces in the sewers. I'm looking forward to catching up with this comedic horror series that isn't afraid to get its hands dirty as John McRae is no stranger to horror comics. The Silver Coin, number six, is from Image Comics. The story is by Joshua Williamson, with art by Michael Walsh. 
The tale of the cursed coin topples through time once again and shows up during the arcade boom of the 80s. This has been a great imaginative series, taking all kinds of dark risks with well-tread material. While the writer changes from month to month, Michael Walsh's art really ties the whole thing together nicely. The Me You Love in the Dark, number four, is from Image Comics. The story is by Scotty Young, with art by George Corona. I've really been digging this little ghost story about a painter who sets herself up in a house for solitude and inspiration, only to find herself falling in love with a ghost that resides there. Last issue took a twisted turn, and while this has been a love story up until now, this new issue seems to promise some very dark territory ahead. Finally, we have Batman Reptilian number 5. This is from DC Comics. The story is by Garth Ennis, with art by Liam Sharp. While this is definitely an odd story, as it involves Killer Croc reproducing with himself and having a savage offspring that runs rampant through Gotham's underworld, the art is absolutely fantastic, moody, and gory as hell. I don't think Garth Ennis' Batman is the same Batman I've been reading all my life, but this is still a book worth seeking out. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. Stuck inside